Hi, and welcome to Burts with Bottle. We've got a thing about wine, and we want you to have a thing about wine too. And this week, the birds go cheap. Yes, we do, because we all feel the pinch in January, not just in our waistbands, but in our wallets too. Yeah, we found some super value wines that won't bust your very, very depleted New Year budget. Yeah, so when you've maxed out your credit cards, but you still fancy a glass, yeah, we've waded through a considerable number of the cheap and yucky to find you wines that are cheap and yummy. Aren't we nice? Yeah. Right, for our first cheapie, we've got this Muscadet. It's called um, Cuvée des Croix Blanches and it's the 2010 vintage and it comes from Majestic. Now, they sell it at £5.99 normally, but um, at the moment it's on offer, if you buy two, at £4.99. Yeah, and we, we wanted our cheapy wines all to be under a fiver, and this one I suppose has slightly got in under the wire, um, but it is under a fiver for January, yeah. so um, we thought that was fair. And this comes from France, from the Loire, um, from the Atlantic end. The beach end. Yeah, otherwise known as the beach end. Um, so perfect sort of seafood wine. Yeah, it's there, a real it? seafood area, isn't it? And, and Muscadet is the, the absolute standard if you're around there, the standard seafood wine. It's just it's a, a pretty simple dry white wine. Yeah, I mean it's quite neutral on the nose, but there's some mm. freshness there. Mm. It it's a fresh, acidic, dry white wine. Yeah. Um, but actually, and also it is dry. If you're on a bit of a diet thing on for January, this sort of dry white wine, this is as low in calories as you can get without going into the low calorie wines. Um, but it's not a, it's not sharply acidic, is it? It's quite rounded oh, acidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's very drinkable, very, very easy. Mm. You won't be disappointed. Um, and of course, January. You know, it's the time really to just think about saving money generally, not just on your wine. Yes. You know, you've probably run out of Christmas leftovers. Maybe one jar of pickled onions left. Yeah. So it's time to kind of get into your cupboards, get into your larder, get into your freezer, and see what you can use up and save yeah. some money. Save some money, and then the added, both added bonus of that is that you'll have freed up some space and when you're doing your spring cleaning, um, it'll all look much nicer. Yeah. Now, if you were in Mel's larder, oh, as God, we are now, <laughs> you'd have found things what? like this uh, ooh, Ikea meatball creamy sauce. It's delicious. <laughs> but she obviously needs to use but, it. But, no, no, you'll see somewhere April t okay. 2012, so it's not out of date. But yeah. she can make something with it yeah. and not have to buy another sauce and save During some January. money. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, Look, fair enough. Mm. Lovely. Absolutely perfect. perfect. Crisp wine for a crisp fiver. Yeah. So, our second wine is the Verdicchio Moncaro. It's four ninety nine in Waitrose and it's the 2010 vintage. Now this is from the Marche region in Italy, which is sort of east of Tuscany. Yeah. And Verdicchio is actually the name of the grape variety, a bit in the way that Prosecco is the name yeah. of the grape and the wine. Yes, exactly. And actually there has been a move recently to much more interesting Verdicchios. It used to be quite a dull, just a plain dry white wine. And, and now the, the, quite a few of them have got some actual flavour. Yeah, I'm finding that I'm finding more that I'm attracted to than I am passing on. That's very inviting, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's not a little strong. almond note on the nose. I was going to say white pepper. Ooh. Lovely. Lots of flavour on that mm. palette, isn't it? And actually, rather quite lush. It's really... It's quite fruity. I mean, oh. for a verdicchio, it's, it's... We taste quite a lot of verdicchios. They're always at the beginning of tastings, and they can be dreary. Um, but we both were really attracted to this one. It's um, really worth trying. It is, and in fact I'm getting your white pepper now, a little mm. bit on the end of the palette. So back to that whole saving money in January oh, thing. Yeah. I well, mean, if you saw my cupboard at home, it's packed full of packets of pine nuts, and it's packed full of little bottles of ground cumin. Oh, is that your problem? Yeah. And yeah. mine is, um, well, plain flour, have a bit, 
a big plain flour problem. I just always think, oh, plain flour, I must, I must have run out of it. And I don't use that much. <laughs> yeah. I, I bake, I bake quite a lot. But, you know, and then that's usually self-raising. Um, and also caper berries and olives. I've oh, got yeah, a backlog but, of them. You see, I wouldn't mind too many of those in my store cupboard because they'd be rather kind. So. Yeah. So, in order to save money in January, I have got a bit of a list problem. It is a something like that. But can I urge you all, please resolve to write a list before you go shopping. It is the way forward, the way to save money. Yeah. So, for our first super value red, we've gone to Morrison's. We've got, they call it French Beaujolais. Um, <laughs> it's not German. <laughs> it's a 2009 vintage and it's slinking in at 4.27 a bottle. Yeah, it's very, very, very cheap price, isn't it? It is. Now, um, Beaujolais comes from the south of Burgundy and is made from the Gamay grape, which is thin skin, so low tannin, it's very smooth, easy drinking, light red wine, almost never oaked. It's that sort of cherryness on the nose. Yeah, it's often cherry or strawberry, yeah. that sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, there's some decent flavour there, isn't yeah. there, for, God, for the price? Fortunate. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. It's light, it's fruity. It's not sweet and fruity fruity, but um, no, an absolutely fair stab. Good for a picnic. Yeah, perfect. Mm -mm, this time of year? Romantic picnic in the sitting room? <laughs> picnic rug? <run? laughs> Shade. <laughs> Parties that you do totally yeah. out of season, isn't it? Where everyone yeah. comes in their bikini and then yeah. they cover our skirt. We can do this. <laughs> well, when Mull's finished with her picnic, yeah. um, I'm going to get us back to saving money in January. Good. And another thing. And another thing. <laughs> and another thing. You know all those um, free little bottles of shampoo and this and that that you pick up around the place, shower gel, etc. Oh yeah, even in hotels or... Yeah. yeah, now is the time to use all those up. Oh, of course. And you often get free samples for things in magazines, don't you? Yeah, like face cream yeah. and, and hand cream and... bits and pieces under the bathroom sink, little, little bits on the end of bottles. Now, Perfect. Now, I... I always cut open my tubes of toothpaste when they're... No. Yeah, when I think there's no more you can get out and there's always a day and a half of toothpaste <laughs> left in the toothpaste. So you save, gosh... Yeah, so over the cost of a year, you know, think how much money you'd save. <laughs> yes, Sandra. <laughs> I sound mean, don't I? You do. Fantastic. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Do you use shampoo as well? Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So... For January, all your toiletries could be free. Yeah, leaving you some money to buy a nice bottle of wine. Yeah. Right, for our last January bargain, we've got this Marquez del Norte Rioja. It's the 2010 vintage, and it comes from Asda, and it's £4.24 a bottle. And it's got a whopping amount of 14% alcohol on it. Which... And actually it looks, it does not look cheap, but I love no. that label. Oh no, it's, it's a, a very really attractive wine. Yeah. yeah. Promises big things. Yeah, let's see what it's like. Lovely smell. Mmm, it's like sort of mockery nose on that. Mm. Not, not overtly American oaky at all, but um, very pleasant. I can't believe that it's 4 24 that's really fun. You can taste the alcohol, but you can feel the alcohol. Yeah, you can. It's a little it. bit fiery. That's the only thing I'd say again. A little bit fiery. But what would you rather, Mel? A bit fiery or limp, limp and kind of thin? I'd yeah, rather no, have a no, bit no, of fun. Absolutely. Because because mostly with something like Rioja, you're going to put it with some food, aren't you? Mm. Mm. But again, you've got some nice dark, quite spicy mm. fruit. Licorice. Got, yeah. Oh, licorice. Mm. Yeah. Really quite mm. yummy. Very yummy. Yeah. No, nice. Yeah. Do we like this? We mm. like this. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Go on then. And another thing. <laughs> another way to save money in January. Mm. Don't join a gym. Get your exercise free. Absolutely. Go on then. Yeah, What's you know. It? Well, um, go running for a start. Get your running shoes out. Okay. 
and walking actually and also that saves petrol yeah so that's good double dust, double whammy dust your bike down go out cycling i've been going yeah. out cycling for quite a few mornings a few months yeah um when you're out so shopping you're out. or at work no lifts no escalators yeah it will be a heavier purse and lighter you which is what we all want yeah absolutely, absolutely. so january needn't be a drag it can be chirpy chirpy Cheap, cheap. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> See you next week. See you next week.